Welcome everyone, my name is Tyler with My Computer Works. Today, I have some interesting news for really anyone that owns a cell phone, right? But in particular, T-Mobile users, right? Now, some of you may have seen the T-Mobile Super Bowl commercial that talked about the concerning fact that about 500,000 square miles of the United States is basically a cell phone dead zone or basically areas in which cell phone coverage is non-existent due to the fact that those areas are unreachable by cell phone towers. Now, if you're someone that likes to explore, hunt, fish, or travel, that could be a huge issue for you, right? Especially if you run into an emergency situation in one of those areas, okay? Now, we probably don't all carry satellite phones on us, right? And if you're confused, by that statement, let me clarify cell phones versus uh, satellite phones, right? So cell phones are what you and I probably have in our pockets, okay? Those are going to be phones that have a provider such as Verizon, AT&T, um, T-Mobile, et cetera, et cetera, right? The list goes on and on, and there's always new cell phone companies popping up, right? Now, these rely on ground-based cell phone towers that provide the connection we need to make calls and texts. Whereas a cell phone, a satellite cell phone is basically a phone that, or not a satellite cell phone, just a satellite phone, is a cell phone that relies off of a satellite, right? That makes sense, hence the name. Okay, so how exciting it is to learn that the capability that the satellite phone has for connection is now going to be offered or integrated for T-Mobile users right into their cellular phone. Hence earlier why I said satellite cellular phone. That's pretty much what the uh, your phone is going to become it's going to be like a combo of these two things that's right starlink the internet service that provides broadband internet to remote areas will now be offering the capability to t-mobile users to be able to use a satellite from their phone in the event like let's say you're out and about and you don't have cell phone coverage the tower doesn't reach your area and it's a dead zone you're in one of those dead zones now the phone will bank off one of the connect to one of those satellites one of those uh, Starlink uh, SpaceX satellites that's up there floating around, and bam, you have connection. You have uh, the ability to send text messages, right? So during the beta testing, it was primarily just uh, text messaging that was offered, okay? Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the Starlink company, they are operated by SpaceX, which was founded by the super genius Elon Musk. That's right, this guy. Now, why does this matter to you? Maybe you don't have T-Mobile. Well. Even if you don't have T-Mobile, this is forcing other carriers to make similar business decisions and provide that satellite service or capability for their users, okay? And again, if you're someone that likes to travel or explore or find yourself in areas that has uh, frequently bad service or bad connection due to lack of poor, uh, the tower reach, as in, you know, that the tower doesn't reach that area or the area you're in, now, this is going to be a really great thing for you, right? Imagine you're skiing or you're hiking or you're hunting in a remote area and something goes wrong and you don't have cell service. Well, that could be pretty detrimental. That could be that could be a bad situation. Well, with this service, like I said, you won't have to worry. As long as your phone can see the sky, you will have connection to the satellite and you'll be able to text somebody for help, okay? And again, I mentioned earlier, eventually this is going to cover voice calls and even internet downloads. So it's not just gonna be the text messages, it's gonna be uh, all of it, voice calls, um, download things from online and, and make text messages, okay? Well, this is pretty awesome, right? Things are getting way more sci-fi every single day. Uh, we're moving towards basically like a Star Trek world that we're going to be living in. And uh, a lot of the other futuristic movies, like all this stuff is becoming a reality. So thank you all for watching. If you are interested in this, check out more about it. There's tons of articles online covering it. But before you go, please hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to reach out to us if you need help with your technology. Again, numbers always at the beginning, into the video, and down in the description. And I will see you on the next one.